Now, the first time then that Jesus refers to little faith is in the passage that was read for us in Matthew and chapter 6. And from this, we learn that little faith is ineffective against anxiety. That's the first reason that we want to grow in faith, because little faith is ineffective against anxiety. Look back up to verse uh, 25, if you would, and see that Jesus is speaking here about anxiety. Do not be anxious, he says, about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, not about your body, what you will put on. Now, you read these words of Jesus, and it's very clear these are the things we're anxious about all the time. Do we have enough to cover our costs? Have we saved enough for the future? Will we be able to make ends meet, or have we actually bitten off more than we can chew? These are the unavoidable questions of life. And their natural tendency is to produce anxiety. But here Jesus says, do not be anxious. Uh, you read that, you say, well, how can we do that? Well, Jesus tells us why we must not give way to anxiety. Notice he tells us, verse 26, there's no need for anxiety. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Look, your heavenly Father cares for the birds, Jesus says. Do you not think that your heavenly Father will care for you as well? There is no need for you to be anxious. And then he follows it up in verse 27 by saying there is no point in being anxious. Verse 27, which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to the span of his life? You see what Jesus is saying? Worry doesn't change a thing. It can't make your health better. It can't extend your life by a single day or a single hour. Worry is in its nature completely and utterly unproductive. So if there's no need for anxiety and there's no point in anxiety, why do we worry? Well, Jesus tells us, oh, you of little faith, verse 30. We worry because our faith is small. Now, remember that Jesus is talking here to believers. He, he doesn't say to uh, these first hearers of these words, that they have no faith. No, he says they have little faith. And what Jesus is saying here is that little faith is ineffective against anxiety. Yes, you believe, but you're anxious so much of the time. It is possible to be a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ and yet still to be overwhelmed with anxiety. And none of us wants to be there. And that's the first reason why we all want to grow in faith. 